Hi Taurus and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well. This is a general reading that could help any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. So uh, hopefully you find something helpful here. We'll take a look at the messages and energies uh, for October to help you plan accordingly. Okay, I've already pre-shuffled quite a bit. Give them a few more shuffles. Okay, so Friday is a day of pentacles. Look at this. We have the king of pentacles, we have the knight of pentacles, and we have the two of pentacles. So what really strikes me within this reading is the two of pentacles. And the two of pentacles is seeking balance, of trying to stay steady, of trying to stay on top of things. And as we always say with the Two of Pentacles, it's the task of running your life, juggling your life, all the things that you have to do. Children, job, relationships, bills, you name it. It's a big pile in front of you that you have to deal with. And so sometimes we, we get out of balance. Sometimes we, we forget to take care of something and we risk dropping a pentacle. We risk losing our balance. It just seems that this is something that doesn't go away. We have always are going to be faced with keeping balance within our life. So I think that that's an important message with this reading. So then we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles brings forth the hard work, the attention to detail, the devotion to the task, the will to do a great job, and to put in the time and the effort. This is the hard-working man who that you can rely on, you can, he's responsible, he's the designated driver, he is uh, the one who's going to Pull, pull up the slack for those that are not doing their part. So you can see that that can be very tiring if you are showing this type of Knight of Pentacles energy, if you're doing, if you're really working hard, if you're really putting your nose to the grindstone, if you are working your plan and thinking about things and taking your time and moving slowly, it's, it's a lot of energy expended. But, you know, they say slow and steady wins the race. And so he's in position to do well, to build foundational uh, security or stability. He's going to use his practical approach. And as you see, with all of these pentacles, we're really getting a, almost a punch in the face of saying, be practical on Friday. Be grounded, you know, stay in balance either keep working or maybe you need to tweak the amount of work in order to keep your balance for your life. So be practical, know what you're trying to accomplish, do all the uh, underlying tasks that you need to do to get to that place and do them well. And put in your time and energy, if that means working hard after hours, then maybe you have to do that. That might be the message here with the Knight of Pentacles. Thus, here's this Two of Pentacles. Ooh, got to find balance. So what's curious is here's the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles has reached the pinnacle for uh, his life. He has created the abundance and the comfort and the beauty and the lifestyle and the control that he seeks and desires. And that is important to this King of Pentacles. Acquiring and having exactly what he wants is key. The nice part about the King is that he's pretty grounded, he's approachable, and more often than not, has the best interest of those that he cares about. He, he cares about family. He's devoted to family. The King of Pentacles 
has worked hard to be the master of where he is. And so now he's able to enjoy the fruits of his labor, all of the comforts and the desires and the properties perhaps, or whatever it may be, the investments that he's sitting on top of. So a couple of things. There could be the thought here that when you apply yourself and when you are focused and devoted and tireless, tirelessly working toward your dreams or your goals, that ultimately you will become the king of pentacles. Doesn't mean that you're going to, that you, uh, you can ignore the, the balance of your life because that's an important piece as well, is trying to keep everything going. And it takes skill, it takes energy. But here's all the time in the world to do a great job, this Knight of Pentacles. They're going to do it. So I just feel that for Friday, the message is pay attention to your budget, pay attention to what you're trying to achieve. If you need to write things down, if you need to make a list, if you need to check in with someone who's an expert, then make the call, send an email. Uh, perhaps it's sitting down with a spouse or family member to try to move around priorities with, this, with respect to the Two of Pentacles, uh, but very much a focus on money, on your time, on your energy, on your resources, and your approach. So number-wise, we have one, two, and four, and four is about foundation. It's about trying to build that firm foundation, creating the stability in your life and the security for your family, for yourself, for your loved ones. So let's choose an oracle card for an affirmation or something to practice for the day. Amplify your positive emotions. So I like how the water here is the, the ripple effect. Positive emotions amplify. You know, let them ring out vibrationally. Focus on the positive aspects of your life. Focus on the things that you can feel good about. And you know, sometimes people don't aren't feeling that positive or aren't feeling that happy. So it takes maybe some extra time or some thought to think about something that you can be pleased about, that you can build upon. So it's just a start. It's just a stepping stone for those that are not in a happy place or not feeling very confident or positive. For others, Amplify, share your positivity with those around you. So I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading today. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I wish you a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for your time. Take care.